Okay. Hey y'all, this is Key back of Key's Corner. And I wanted to come through and give y'all a message today as well as just, you know, part of the show. Let you guys know what's been going on with me and uh, where I've been these last few weeks. It's been a lot going on. I'm excited. So I'm gonna start with my tarot cards and I'm gonna pull a few. Um, I've already shuffled and cut the deck. So we're gonna see what comes out for us today. And I'm also gonna read these cards to you guys too, just so you know it's like not just me saying this, but I'm gonna give you both sides, okay? So the definition of the book and how I feel, okay? Just so it's more in depth and y'all kind of get what's going on. <laughs> okay so the first card that we have is the muse of inspiration and these cards are not your typical oracle deck these are um the muse of inspiration the muse tarot by chris ian i don't know if y'all know who that is but these are the cards that i'm using today and the muse of inspiration has to do with fire energy okay any of the fire elements so you know we got earth water fire and air um, i believe fire is aries sagittarius and leo the muse of inspiration is um inspirational success an inspired leader a visionary thinking big ability to bring many moving parts together into one large story remaining inspired taking action making sure you don't create unrealistic expectations expectations i think we're all I'm not going to say we, but majority of us have put expectations on what's going on right now or what we're to be doing with ourselves. And we're just going to get rid of those expectations because expectations lead, lead you to a place of not really being aware of the known and unknown. You know what I'm saying? You're just expecting something to happen and it's just like, that's okay, but it's better when we least expect it. You know what I'm saying? Where things just show up and happen, you know? So that's the first placement that we have, and that is um, kind of just like the past energy that everybody has been operating in, okay? Following into the present energy that we have is nine of voices, okay? And this is basically nine of air, which is air element, and that usually stands for um, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. So nine of voices is probably many of us have, are having nightmares, night terrors, illusions, dealing with a lot of anxiety, not knowing what's going on here or not knowing what to do with ourselves, um, maybe feeling overwhelmed, something keeping us up at night. These dreams, fear, processing difficulties, stress, and affecting functions. So a lot of us are in this energy right now where we can't sleep. Just basically screaming to get rest, okay? We all need rest right now. Everybody's in this um, really strange phase. But again, we're in the healing phase right now. And before you get to the other side, it gets ugly. Right now we're in the ugly stage, okay? It is very ugly right now. We can't rest, we can't sleep, we're feeling all these different things. And you know, as a collective, we just have to learn how to balance out these energies and become one, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully we can move forward and get out of this anxiety or this uh this, this worry you know there's no need to worry everything is literally everything and we have queen of inspiration so this is energy dealing with fire as well so we have two fire energy so a lot of us are feeling a lot of different things but this is warmth this is beauty this is this is the future okay this is where we're moving to so with the queen of inspiration joy courage warmth confidence, power, dynamic enthusiasm, a creatrix, engaging conversation, accepting all of yourself, a boisterous, bold, and powerful leader. So this is two leader energies, two leaders. So most of us might be called to lead right now, lead in whatever way will benefit the collective in a good, positive way. You know what I'm saying? Whichever way will help us reach the level of 
prosperity, abundance, joy, love, you know, all these different things that's gonna bring us to the light. You know, it's gonna get pretty either way. You know what I'm saying? You might not like it right now, and it might be a very uncomfortable for you, whatever that you might be dealing with, but just know that things always get better, okay? Always, always, always get better, okay? Again, take a step in knowing ourselves. Um, really, really knowing our internal knowledge versus external knowledge. And a lot of us, don't get me wrong, studying and everything is fine, but you know, most of the time it doesn't take us to look at something on the outside of ourselves to get clarification of what of or who we are. Um, a lot of the times it's just taking the moment to tune into yourself, realize what you're feeling, why you're feeling that way, what's triggering you, um, what may or may not be triggering you. You know, just knowing who you are. And it's like, when you know who you are, everything is literally everything. It's like connecting the dots, like everything lines up. I'm gonna tell y'all a story, story time. Well, I went to a person just recently and I got my oil red, I got my energy and everything red. And it came to me that, that this person tried to put a spell on me. And why would why you know me that I can't connect back with this person? I can't be cool with this person. Um, whatever this person says or does, it was almost like I had no control over it, or I couldn't do anything to change the situation. So they told me to pretty much just sever ties with this relationship, and it was something that really it wasn't a hard thing to do, but the energy was still trying to attach itself to me. So I got a cleansing and everything done. And during this cleansing period, it was about maybe a week or two ago. During this cleansing period though, my tummy was so out of whack. Like, and you know, that's your solar and sacral chakra. And that's where your intuition lies. You know, it picks up on all this stuff. So for like days, I'm in here like holding my stomach, just hurting. And it hurts so bad, I can eat, I can sleep. And I'm feeling all these different things, you know, so. Finally, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna cleanse my own aura. I'm gonna go run me a bath. I'm gonna, the energy just wash itself away. I'm telling y'all, I, I felt brand new. I felt like it had just fallen off of me. And I'm just like, that's all I needed was for this energy to get off of me because it's, it's almost like these energies and these people you're trying to hinder your growth. And no matter what, I know I'm on the right path because of the signs that I see, the things that I feel, the things that I hear. And it's all in connection to the divine. So it's like with that, I know I'm on the right path. So you can't stop my growth. You can't stop my journey. You can't stop where I'm going. And if it intimidates you, then that means that you probably need to grow. So I'm not ashamed of my journey. I'm not ashamed of my growth. I'm not ashamed of who's with this or who's not. Because this is not for you. And if it's not for you, then don't tune in. I'm just saying that simply because in the place that I, places that I've been in previously, I've never felt more connected to myself. And people will try to project their own insecurities or their own self-doubts and stuff onto you because you're doing something that, oh, maybe that's something that they want to do or they just don't feel it in themselves that they have the gift to do so. That is not my fault. These people will definitely try to like deter you or just try to take you off your path and it's just like i don't have time to be convincing people of what i'm doing over here all you gotta do is listen to the message listen to the message listen to what's being said connect the dots for yourself see where it lies for yourself take what you can and if it resonates, it resonates. And if it doesn't, then leave the rest. Um, but I'm not here to convince anybody of joining me on this journey or even trying to get people to understand. I started researching for myself. I started studying for myself. I started learning more about myself for myself because I was tired of looking at another person for my worth or more so trying to get the love out of another person that I felt like I deserve for myself. So I have to be the one to give it to me. And in that, it's like people will think all kinds of stuff, but that's okay, you think what you wanna think. I'm not about to convince you otherwise. We're all on our own journey. Everybody's path is different. Everybody's path to spiritual enlightenment is different. Everybody's soul journey is different. There's a thousand paths and we're just on the, I'm just on this one. So it's like, I'm comfortable with where I am. I'm comfortable on my journey. I'm comfortable learning more and more about myself every day because 
this is what I chose to do for myself and this is what I connect with in myself. People are gonna try to come against you. People are gonna try to bring you down, say you crazy and all these different things and you can kiss my ass. <laughs> And I say that with love, okay? Uh, us being too hard on ourselves. I find myself being really hard on myself because um, I know where I'm trying to go. I know what I want to do. It's just, you know, it's baby steps. It's a process, you know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, we have to go through this process to get to the other side. Being hard on yourself does not get the job done. You know, anger gets the job done, but as far as like being depressed and feeling sorry for yourself and stuff like that, none of that it is worth it's worth anything you know but more despair more sadness more hurt and it's like we have to really build ourselves up for ourselves it's it's not for anybody else it's just for us because we are here for other people i would say it's not even about us it's not even about me this is not about me this is for other people and just finding myself not being so hard on myself just having a little bit of grace with myself and compassion with myself. It's like showing myself love that I wanted to give to other people. So as you become gentle with yourself and as you begin to learn more and more about yourself, you know that a lot of things are just there to teach us lessons. And it's understanding the lesson, understanding the timing and place of where you are at this very moment. What are you doing in this moment? Um, how are you growing in this moment? How are you gaining more knowledge about yourself? How are you gaining more enlightenment and more power for yourself? You know, taking your power back. You just make sure you're operating in your highest self. Um, so being gentle with yourself, having compassion for yourself, having love for yourself is definitely something that must be learned. Must You must teach it to yourself. As, as we grow, the physical body changes and that'll help you just release energies and stuff as well because I, I have this saying where it's, um, as you grow in spirituality, you lose the human aspect of yourself. And as you grow in humanity, you lose the spiritual aspect of yourself. We're a spiritual being having a human experience. And we don't want to get stuck in this human experience because we won't be able to go where we're supposed to go spiritually. So, and it's just like, as I connect more and more spiritually, I can see where I'm going. I can see my higher self. I can connect with my higher self. I can connect with my ancestors. I can connect with my spirit guides, my ascended masters. And, you know, there's just a different um, frequency that you're on. And as a collective, most of everybody is on the same frequency but as you grow and as you elevate spiritually the frequency changes it's like tuning the radio box or um turning the volume up and down in the car it's tuning you know what i'm saying so as you tune in spiritually you're changing the frequency of what you're on and what you were on and i'm just keep on tuning because it's like i don't want nothing to do with that humanity shit. i don't i want to grow spiritually and it's like now that i've been on this journey i can't stop um, so it's on this journey, you know, learning to protect my energy, keeping my intentions pure, you know what I'm saying, wrapping up my confidence, um, learning how to deal with resistance and um, um, rejection because a lot of people aren't going to accept you just because of where you are and I don't need nobody to accept me. Those that are supposed to be for me will be for me no matter what. And if you're not, then you're simply not. You know what I'm saying? You have to you have to get rid of those people. Um, I know whenever I was growing up, I was such a such an empathetic person that I wanted to save everybody. And it's not our job to save to save people. It is not our job to try to grab someone's hand and be like, oh come on, no, because we have to want to do it for ourselves. And I, I used to cry every day because I would see people hurting themselves or I would see people hurting other people and my heart just wouldn't allow this to happen. Like I was so heartbroken just by how people treated other people or just by the shit that people have to go through. But everybody's journey is their own journey. You have to know that we can't interfere with spirit. We can't interfere with the divine. There is no interference in that. What is to happen is to, uh, to happen no matter what, good or bad however you see it be um it's like yeah we feel bad for this person but we don't know what they did in their past lifetime we don't know if they killed a baby in their past lifetime i'm just saying just to be you know just to get y'all to think about something like 
we don't know what these people have done previous lifetimes ago. So a lot of the times we see people in this lifetime getting their karma paid to them. Okay, so it's like karma always come back around, good or bad. So what you do in this lifetime follows over to the next, wherever you're supposed to go. So make sure that you're always doing the right thing, uh, treating people how you would like to be treated. Uh, you know, showing love to people because you want your next lifetime to be filled with those same good qualities. But a lot of the times that that's what it is, is people dealing with their karma right now. And you know, you kind of just gotta let people deal with that shit. And it's like, I felt bad about the shit when I was growing up, but now that I get it, I'm like, I don't give a fuck about none of that. And it's just, it's not, it's, yes, it's compassion, but it's love for myself and love for you too. Like, I, yeah, I'm sorry you had to go through that, but that's your karmic lesson, okay? So these are some other cards that I have, and these are Work Your Light Oracle cards. And I'm pulling three cards. The card that I pulled here, the first one is the Great Gathering. It's all coming together, intuitive hits and soul tribes. So as we grow again, you become more intuitive. You become more in tune. Your soul tribe will attract itself to you. It's your vibe attractor tra attracts your tribe. So as we grow spiritually and as a collective, as we grow in consciousness and everything, um, we're gonna find ourselves connecting to people that we may have never even thought of connecting with before or the energies that we're connecting to. Um, just realizing that the divine has people set in place to help us on this journey. And as you grow and just stay on your journey, your tribe will come in. People are gonna start blessing you. People are gonna start sending you messages or giving you gifts or just, you're gonna, abundance in in everything that you do love money home life it doesn't matter you're just gonna have full abundance okay another one that i have is share your voice so what i'm doing right now is sharing my voice with you guys i don't know everything i just know that this is what i'm doing on my journey and i am being called to share my voice i am being called to share my story with you or just you know get people to think differently seeing things from another perspective um, i'm being called to do so so like i said i want to be able to interact with you guys i want to be able to share these messages you guys ask me questions send me messages in the inbox like hey can we speak on this today can we speak on this tomorrow you know i really want to do that because i like to go into details about what's going on so if y'all have questions and y'all want to know anything or you're just curious about your own journey let's come to this together okay let's work on this together you have a friend that is here to help you in this process okay so it says come out of the cave persecution and expression so expressing yourself however that may be using your voice fuck what people like like if they like what you say or not it's just you know I use this platform because I was, I literally had dreams of me being on a platform as such. So I had to share my voice because, you know, going forward on the other side, it's like, I want my blessings. I want my abundance. I want my prosperity. So if I have to share my voice, then that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not being scared anymore. I'm not using fear as a tool to hold me back because fear does not exist, okay? Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? I know I'm being supported. No matter what, I know I'm being supported. And you guys will be supported in what you do as well. Um, learning to trust your path, learning to trust your intuition, learning to know that even if you gotta walk this path alone, you're never alone, okay? And it might get, it might seem like people are disappearing and stuff, and it might be time for um, isolation, but never, you're never alone. There's always angels there to help you. There's always someone there to help you on your journey. So trust in your path, okay? Because you're always supported. And that just makes me happy because it's just confirmation of what I already said to you guys. One more, one more gift. I'm definitely feeling the energy. Just as I grow and as I trust my own self to be on this path, I get nervous sometimes coming before you guys because a lot of you guys know me from my past life and a lot of you guys know me from where I come from and 
I respect that, you know what I'm saying? But my heart has always been the same for those of you, of you that know me. My heart is always the same. I always want what's best for people. And I have <laughs> this crazy heart that I have. Not crazy, but this, this heart that I have. And I used to ask my mama all the time, why do I have the heart that I have? Why did God give me the heart that I had? Because I used to feel so much stuff for other people and it was just never equaled out, you know what I'm saying? It was never just to the point to where what I was giving to others was returned back to me. So I started to feel like I wasn't worth anything. You know, just knowing that you are worth it. Knowing that God gave you that heart because somebody needs your heart. God, God gave you that. That heart that you have because your form of love is different from somebody else's form of love and somebody might need you one day. So it's like, I appreciate everybody that has been here with me on this journey. I appreciate everybody watching me and tuning in to what I have to say. And I appreciate, you know, just y'all supporting me. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody don't support what you're doing, but I just want to bring the light to others and enlighten other people and share the journey because it's been beautiful it's been even through the trying times even through the times that i didn't understand it was still a beautiful process it was still one step that had to get me to the next unplugging for mass consciousness it was still learning that no matter what, love is love. And even if people do wrong by you, that's not your fault. Enjoy. That's just where they are on their journey. You know what I'm saying? Projection and all these things is just where people are. So we can't condemn, condemn them for them not knowing. But it's more so when you know, what are you going to do with it? So now that I know, this is what I choose to do with it. This is what how I choose to share with you guys, okay? So we've got 11, 11, 11 messages and numbers, spiritual decrees, and seventh ray of ritual order and ceremony. And this is my light workers oracle day. 11, 11 messages and numbers. When I started my journey, no. I've always been a spiritual person, but when the, when the angel numbers and messages and numbers started kicking in, it was around the time that my mom got sick. Um, her angel number was 222. And when she got sick, I picked up on a lot of her energy, but she started seeing messages and numbers first and she started pointing them out to me like, oh, there's 222 or there's 111 or 1111, you know, things like that. And the repetition of numbers have messages tied to them. So as I started to grow and learn these numbers, it just let me know that I was on the right path, okay? These numbers have so many hidden messages to them and they connect to so many other sources that, you know, it's always a boost in confirmation when you see these numbers. It's like, or just a boost in just knowing you're on the right path. I've been seeing numbers like crazy. This is actually the second time I've pulled this card today. So I'm actually probably gonna see numbers. I always see numbers. So if y'all start seeing messages and, or if y'all start seeing 11 and 11 or just repetition and numbers and stuff, just know that the universe is speaking to you through numbers. Information is being tra transmitted from the universal intelligence. Okay, number frequencies. They're in, it's energetic medicine, as it was said. It's a universal language of love that help heal and guide you. There are no negative numbers. No negative numbers. Um, healing vibration of numbers are working for your soul right now. Which numbers do you mo notice most often when you're looking at time? What do you see? I'm gonna leave that for y'all so y'all can leave me some numbers, okay? If y'all start seeing numbers, let me know that y'all see these numbers because, you know, I'll confirm it for you. Like, oh yeah, this is that, this is that. You good, you good. Um, the next one that I have is, Spiritual decree, a decree, a calling. What are you being called to do? What are we being called to do? So spiritual decree, wondering what will happen in your next life, not realizing how much power you have to decide that for yourself. What do you wish will happen next? Are you willing to use your divine birthrights of free will? We all have free will here. No one can tell us what to do. So knowing that you have free will, what you gonna do with it? Um, if you answer 
Yes, then it's time to speak your truth to the universe. Decree it and you shall. You've been praying for help possibly or asking for a map and wanting direction. You're wise in the ways that you are receptive and responsive to the approach of life. It is spiritually mature to trust the greater guiding power of the divine to direct your course. And yet, the wishes in your heart are part of, are part of how that happens. Divine destiny is not something that just happens to you, but it is something that you co-create as a living. Spiritual being with free will and divine love beating in your heart. You are being honored for your ability to ask for guidance and wait for signs. Even if it's the messages and numbers, what you're asking for will always show up, but it's the form that it shows up in. Can you recognize it? So as you ask for your heart's desires, you have to see that literally everything is everything and it can come in any form. You're also being asked to set intention and develop faith in yourself, to trust in what your heart yearns for and what you love so much that you're willing to go through the discomfort of growth to see it come to life. Okay, that's more confirmation. Going through this icky phase and going through this challenging phase, but knowing that there's still beauty on the other side. You know what I'm saying? Your heart's desires come into life, okay? The last card that we have, is seventh ray of ritual and ceremony. So when this gift of seventh ray enters your life, something new is being born, something that will benefit your world. There may be an increase in interest in magic ceremony and ritual for healing purposes, resonating with high frequency violet light and archangel Zekiel. The seventh ray also helps transmute energy from lower to higher frequency. It is a spiritual cleansing agent that allows the truth of spiritual freedom, empowerment, and choice to be seen and felt, restoring hope and joy to the heart. The seventh ray is very active upon the earth at this time. All of humanity is being affected by it. The seventh ray is the push and pull between the old and the new. The life that has been can no longer continue in the form and that the new life wants to evolve from the old. It honors traditions and ancestral wisdom that serve new life. When the seventh ray enters your life, you are asked to balance your attachment to what has been with an openness to a new. It is time to fearlessly question what has been, honor what continues to hold value for you, and dismiss what no longer serves you. The seventh ray also creates form from invisible, intangible spiritual energy, signs. These signs are the divine order happening. The seventh ray brings an alignment to the divine order and the more you are willing to invoke and allow the energy to bless you, the more your life will align itself with the genius of creativity, solutions, and loving opportunities that the universe wants to bring to your world. You know, knowing your heart's desires, being able to recognize the signs of your heart's desires and being able to realize like, this is coming into fruition. This is what's happening right now. We can't move forward until we get rid of all the old stuff. We gotta get rid of all that stuff because it's no longer benefiting you. So learning that, you can move forward in your journey. You can let go of what's been trying to hinder you and you can see the other side, see where you wanna go, know where you want to go so that the divine can give it to you. Being present with the divine, being present with yourself, being present with your higher self and knowing what you want for yourself, our physical body. Because, you know, if you're aware of the chakras and how many chakras we have and the way that the auric system works, it's like things of the earth and uh, the stuff we put into our bodies, this may be we're eating or drinking or even the people we're hanging around, they can poke holes in your auric field, okay? And when they do that, if you can notice a change in your energy and you can notice that you may have picked up on something that might feel weird to you, but there is ways to protect yourself. I usually sage or use Palo Santos, I light incense and stuff like that simply because energy is everywhere all around us and anything can get itself into your oil field if you're not protected. So using crystals, stones, and stuff like that, those will help you as well. I have a clear quartz on right now, and this is to propel negative energy. So as I'm delivering this message to you guys, I'm making sure my energy is in control. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't want to give y'all nothing that I wouldn't want nobody to give to me. Do help, I actually have amethyst on my necklace. I have been receiving downloads and stuff like that and my headaches 
were getting really severe and headaches can be a form of confusion. And it's like possibly picking up on the access energy that's around and you're just learning how to ground that energy and release it. The first crystal that we have is Peridot. And I'm gonna read these to you guys as well. <sighs> Priscelli Bluestone, ooh, it's pretty. Smoky Quartz, Celestial. First one is Peridot, it's an emotional cleansing, okay? This is the crystal. So Peridot frees the mind from unwelcome, unwelcome envious thoughts and night terrors. What, who's having night terrors? Night terrors, it is transmutative and purifying self-understanding you are deeply emotional and may possessively cling to the past or beat yourself up over mistakes by nature jealous you have dark thoughts detoxifying your emo emotions learn to forgive and let go follow your own life plan without judging yourself or being envious of others you have the power to go through fiery transformation and transmutation and emerge transformed okay so we had two fire energies out and we had night terrors out. Confirmation. Okay. <laughs> it's confirmation from the divine, okay? In the divination, you use the energy wisely. Recognize how outside influences operate in your life. Develop your own protection. Learn to rely on your own inner guidance. Paradigm indicates farewells and disappointments in love. Avoid jealousy. Be assertive without aggression. You have a powerful destiny and a great integrity. Money is earned from your talents. As far as the healing insight, envy and jealous harm. Envy and jealous harms you as well as hurting others. The frequency is earthy to high. The chakra is the heart and the solar plexus. So this stone crystal represents the heart and the solar plexus, okay? The timing and what this, uh, the signs that are attached to this card is for Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius, okay? And this stands for emotional purification. So, as I said, letting go of old patterns and forgiving and letting go. This is one of those crystals that you guys can get as of today. As I read this for you guys today, that is confirmation. And it gives me chills. Like, y'all, I'm not, I'm not tricking. Trexelli <laughs> Bluestone. The inner compass, okay? We all have the inner compass. We all have the inner inner knowing, okay? That direction that's going to guide us no matter what. So this stone is planted healing energies from the land of the ancestors into the sacred healing landscape. This stone accesses past, present, and future, okay? Self-understanding. You're an ancient shaman who has much wisdom to impact the ability to journey through multiple, multiple dimensions in search of healing. You have unshakable core stability and an inner, inner compass that directs your integrity. The divination aspect is you use natural medicine for alignment. Pay attention to your boundaries, dig deep into the past, access your memory, and cut yourself free. Examine your deepest intention and roots. Live in the present moment. Find your own direction and face challenges with equanimity. You have the power to decide. Pay particular attention to your environment. The healing aspect is being true to yourself in the basis of all well-being, spiritual and physical. The frequency is earthy to high. The chakra is earth, star and soma, the mid hairline. And um, the signs that are attached to this are Taurus, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. And the soul path for this is developing a spiritual compass. So if you want more direction and more insight on your spiritual awareness and where you're going, definitely get you a blue stone, okay? And the very last one that we have is Smoky Quartz. Y'all, I'm, I'm on some shit today. Y'all, y'all, like I said, y'all can think I'm crazy or this is just hella confirmation, okay? I, I just, I'm just a vessel and it's just moving through me, okay? That's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying. Smoky Quartz Celestial is a transmutational magic stone. This is a stone for karmic healing. It opens into different dimensions and brings powerful transmutation. Self-understanding, you have a powerful survival instinct and a, an ability to go where others dare not. 
transmutate the past, realize that darkness is not evil. Facing your deepest, darkest fears turns into the golden gifts. You know that death is only a transformation into another state of being. Take responsibility for your life. Do not let others take control. The divination aspect is be patient. Much stirs beneath a calm surface. Total transformation is close. It may entail a trip into the underworld. Your shadow becomes your biggest gift. Toxic emotions turn to positive regard. Ground your efforts in the everyday, but retain contact with higher realms. Success comes through dedication and trust your trust in your trust in your abilities. Mentors are available. Release yourself from old enchantments. The healing aspect of this is no part of you is evil or bad. Embrace your shadow leads to healing the hidden in the darkest aspects of yourself. So this crystal helps you heal the hidden aspects of yourself and helps you balance out your light side and your dark side. But either way, it's just like up and down, left and right. It's good and bad. You know what I'm saying? It has to be there. It's polarity. It's alchemy. The frequency is exceptionally high. This chakra is the earth, base, sacral, and soul star and stellar gateway chakra. The timing or the sign is Scorpio and Capricorn, and the soul path is total transmutation, okay? So like I said, if that's not confirmation for y'all, that's confirmation for me. It's just, you know, that helps you heal the hidden aspects of yourself. And with that being said, I don't think I have anything else to say because y'all can go through and put y'all pieces together from this video and just see, get the message, listen to the message, okay? Y'all can receive your own own message from this. Um, just get what you can. If the message resonates with you, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share this message with your friends or family and have them just see what, see what resonates with them, you know, because like I said, I'm just here to help and those crystals are again something that will help you um as far as protection okay so again we have the peridot the paracelli blue stone and the smoky quartz celestial okay get y'all some protection focus on y'all's intentions focus on yourself focus on where you're going and everything will fall into place for you guys okay again thank y'all for um allowing me to be here and to share these messages with you guys um again i don't know everything but where i am on my journey this is just what i know and this is just what connects me to the divine and i just want to share that with you guys okay so um i will be back with you guys soon i just wanted to share that with you guys also um, we have other shows out, okay? If you guys have been watching the YouTube and y'all have been paying attention to what we have going on, we um, just released a show called Spitter Swallow here in the Shreveport, Bolger area. And as we release this show, um, you know, it's been so much fun here. So I ask that you guys please check out the other videos that we have on YouTube. Like, share, comment, all that stuff. Y'all interact with us so we can interact with you guys and give you guys more um content um we got other shows coming up but y'all please check out the other shows if y'all want to come and be a part of the show like i said we are in the shreveport Bossier, louisiana area um y'all can come out and be a part of the show okay so like i said as we grow you grow that's just if you want to so again i appreciate all the love and the support it's actually so much um, I'm gonna just say so much fun. I'm still trying to work on being in front of the camera more. I'm I'm not gonna say I'm not a camera person, but I'm just learning how to be a camera person. So I can be kind of sheltered into myself and stuff like that. So when I show up, just know I got a message for you because I don't show up all the time. <laughs> but when I show up, just know it's some gems dropping, okay? Um, but yeah, I love you guys and I am so happy to be able to share this with you guys and share my platform with you. And we just continue to grow um, every day, every week. Just continue to grow, continue to focus, continue to love yourself, continue to love others. And let's just heal, heal. Let's heal some shit so we can get to the other side and see the beautiful picture on the other side. And we can have all of our blessings manifest and, you know, we can just be good on the other side. So 
Again, y'all have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the in the um, comment section. As well, I am still doing one-on-one -on -one tarot readings um, for the past, present, and future. I believe I might update the website to do a more in-depth reading um, for those that want more clarification on what's going on in their lives and stuff like that. I'm also still doing consultations as well. So you can book me on the website. And again, share these, share this. If anybody else wants insight, let them know your girl key is here, okay? Um, but yes, I love you guys and I will be back with you guys soon. Peace.